Hey guys, uh, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to extract uh, real BIM pipes in BricsCAD uh, from Point Cloud with the Cloudworks plugin. First time modeling pipes based on Point Cloud could be complicated in the BricsCAD because there are different elements that represent the pipe and interactions with all of them are different. Let's have a look at how the same pipe could be represented by using different tools. One of the easiest ways to design pipes in BricsCAD is using BIM Profiles tools. For that you should open on the right ribbon panel the Profiles menu and select the pipe as a type of profile and choose the needed size of pipe. Then drag and drop chosen profile to the screen. Pipes created in this way could be easily extended to each other and if you change any component of the pipe then all routes rebuilt automatically. But with this type of pipe it's not possible automatically place flange or valves. After that you got all pipes created with BIM profiles tools. Uh, you could be able to convert them into block reference or mechanical assemble via the command BM convert. Visually you will not see any difference but in the properties menu you could find that's now the block reference instead of 3D solid. While the pipe in Z status, it's not possible to change the road of the pipe so easily as it was 3D solid. But now you could easily place flange at the end of pipes. Meanwhile, the pipes created with the Cloudworks fitting tools are different from both of them. The pipes perfectly fitted to the point cloud with the right size and lean, but they look like 3D solids without holes inside. You could be able to connect them only with Cloudworks Connect Pipes tool. And there is no allow to place flange at the end of pipe with automatically line up sizes and directions. If we compare all pipes in the table, we see that each of them got its own features and benefits. So let's try to use all of them. First of all, let's create a center line of the needed pipes and define their di diameter. The best tool for that is fit pipe in the Cloudworks ribbon bar. Run it and select the option create object center line. If it's standard pipes, choose the option Use Catalog to automatically select the best size from the selected catalog. I recommend you to use fitting with fans because it allows you to fit pipes in the point clouds with even a low number of points. Create pipes only in place before or after the flanges, valves, reducers or other elements that could be involved in the route of the pipe. Connect pipes with the Connect Pipes tool on the Cloudworks panel, but use it only for pipes with elbows connectors. Don't touch the pipes with T or cross connections. Also, don't try to connect pipes that have the same lean and directions by different diameters. Just leave them until the next step. When you got an open pop-up window with settings of connections for pipes, choose only the centerline creation. Select all the pipes and use the explode command on them. It will split them into 3D polylines or pipe paths uh, and cylinders, pipe diameter. Next, extend all pipes to the beginning of another element, flange, vault, adapter, reducer, etc and drag the required profile onto them from the BIM Profile tool palette. If you forgot to extend any pipe to the next element when it was rendered as a 3D polyline, you can do it so later with a 3D solid. But before doing so, be sure to turn on access visibility to be able to drag the pipes. If you have multiple pipes with varying diameters, Simply drag one over the other using the handles. BricsCAD will automatically insert a reducer between them. To create a T or cross connection, you should select the pipe which should be extended and move the mouse cursor over another pipe. The second pipe will be highlighted and the quad menu will appear. Choose the L connection type to extend the first pipe to another. Before approving the connection with Enter button, you could switch type of connection with Control button. Select any you want and then click Enter. Select parts of pipes that adjoin to flanges and apply on them the command Beam Convert. You will see that now they become the block references. Now it's possible to place flanges at the end point of the pipe. Go to Library, Standard Parts, Piping, Flanges, choose the required flange and place it at the end of end point of block reference pipe. It will be joined automatically. Do the same thing for the valves, but notice that valve could snap only to the flanges. The snapping doesn't work with pipes. 
After all elements are placed, you could extend the nearest pipe from the opposite side of the flange or valve. Don't forget to turn the valves in the same direction as in the point cloud. Select all elements when they are ready and apply the BOM command to them. Bricks cut will automatically create a table with the number of components and their names. An additional way how you could use the tool fit pipe and cloudworks for bricks cut is to create exchangers or pressure vessel tanks etc for corresponding pipes. For that you should fit pipe to the cloud and don't use any cutter. Extrude the borders of the cylinder up to the extreme point of the cloud. Apply the fillet command to the edge of the required side of the cylinder. Note, if you're looking for something more intelligent and automatic, then you should use an additional plugin Cardworks Plan Professional. I hope this video was helpful. If you missed something, you could find detailed explanation in the link below. Also, you could just leave me a comment. And uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.